but it is a special NFL draft edition. Look, no one does sport like the NFL. There is no off season. And, and gentlemen, what do we think about the draft? Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. You get to see uh, the best of the young college guys who should be getting paid in college, but now they'll be getting their money's worth uh, and getting paid in the NFL. So I, I can't wait to see the boys get paid. Will they, what, three days of draft action, I think it is, seven rounds? You know what's great about it, though? It's a, it's a true world event. It's bringing together all the countries. It used to just be about America. Now we've got a bit of everyone here. And I, I mean, you walk down Nashville and it's just it's just people from Venezuela. There's people from Sudan. There's, there's even it people is, from Denmark. It is, it is the world sport, NFL. It is the world sport, of course. And that's right. It's real United Nations here in Nashville. Well, just last night, Cracker and I were at a bar. Uh, he took me to one of his favourite warring holes. What was it called again, Cracker? Oh, that was the uh, Down Under Cowboy. It's, oh, a, <laughs> it's an old classic. It's a good one, though. The dueling pianos. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were talking to a few Japanese blokes, and we they were, were they were obviously out here for the draft because Japan loves their NFL and they love their draft. And yeah, you know, it's was, it was great to uh, it's great to see this multi. It's like an expo. It really is, and uh, you actually got to talk to these Japanese businessmen as they were, and uh, you got to put forward your your theory about offensive linemen and defensive linemen, and perhaps that the Americans are looking in the wrong spot. Ooh, I did. Yeah, here we, we go. Sp- we split a few edamames, and we sort of sat there and thought, you know what? Let's talk logic here because our Japanese friends don't like to waste time. They get down to business pretty quickly. Too right. And they yep. said straight away, wait, wait, look at your line. Your offensive line, your de- defensive line. They're small. They're little weenie boys. Like Weenie boys is the word they like to use. Exactly. <laughs> look, they look big to us, but in the scheme oh, of things. In the scheme of things. And I looked at them and said, well, hang on. Are you suggesting something? I and like it, of course they were. Yeah. They suggested... How about some of our sumo boys come over and oh, teach your blokes how to block? There we go. Oh, 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 they're they're built in, for the for the trenches, aren't they? You, you you get eleven players on the field, right? You only need three linemen. You got an extra <laughs> you got an extra two receivers all of a sudden. It would be an absolute revolution because the low man always wins. Lowest uh, brain, you'd know this. Lowest. Point of gravity. Oh, that's right. It's all about your center of gravity. Center of it's gravity. just physics. Exactly right. NFL you, is just physics. And you're telling me you're a 600 pound Yokozuna from Japan in that offensive line. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> they're, not, they're not getting around him. You uh, know, look, the, the geniuses at the NFL have only figured out that Australian AFL players can kick the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how have they not looked at sumo, which is one of the ancient arts, been around for thousands of years? Almost not, a lost art. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost a lost and art. Not said, these these big athletes might go all right in the trenches. Wouldn't so, it be good if bizarre. they all reinvented themselves? So the winner of the nationwide, the you know, the Kyoto Grand National, Grand yeah. National, then automatically got a contract with, let's say, the Seattle Seahawks, oh. the, the <laughs> San Antonio the Summarize. Yeah. Like yeah. your sort of your Australian Idol type concepts, you get a recording deal. This one, you get a contract. Exactly, and the NFL has always wanted to be considered the world game. We've thought of them as the world game, but geez, I tell you what, they get the Japanese involved. Well, what are they doing playing games in England? Oh, yeah. 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 Get over to Tokyo. Tokyo. Take the game to all the train cities. Oh, yes. No, look, I reckon... You've heard it here first. Within five years, they'll be serving sushi at at, at the stadiums. (laughs) You watch it. I hope so. Oh, well, that's very interesting. Why don't we stick with this and we might go around the table and look at some of our draft prospects to keep an eye on. Plenty of mock drafts out there, but we're obviously looking a bit deeper into this. Yeah. Cracker, I might throw to you. Why don't you highlight some of your prospects for the uh, NFL draft? Well, this is actually my favourite time of the year. Uh, a lot of people say there's only 275 draft picks, but there's 2,750 hopefuls. That's true. And I tend to focus on the ones that are sort of left off your experts, and I use that word in inverted commas, experts. Uh, I ignore their opinions, and I've got some real gold mines in here. Oh, here we go. Now... Quarterback prospects. Obviously, the draft is it's all about quarterbacks. The big name signings usually yeah, go the franchise, yeah, face of the franchise, top, top ten picks. Once all the, all the punters are gone, you go quarterbacks. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> exactly right. And uh, well, I actually found myself really drawn to the Blue Devils quarterback. Oh, Blue Devils! Oh, oh, obviously, I, I a college, a college with a lot more of a basketball school. The Duke Blue Devils. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that, Duke are. But uh, I'm actually focused on Central Connecticut State. Blue Devils. Oh, there's two <laughs> Blue Devils. Devils. Yeah, and my boy, uh, Jacob Dolagala. Now, there's a name you haven't heard before, but keep an eye out on this one. Now, quarterbacks. When I think quarterbacks, I think size. Six foot six, blue chip, white farm, Whoa. country boy. Mm. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, with an arm like a cannon, 
been throwing bales of hay since bales he was of hay, eight. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you tell me that the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils don't have a good uh, quarterback prospect program. Haven't they got a great scheme? It's a professional offense as well. It really He's is, yeah. For it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well look, look, they may not be able to think of a creative name for their team, but <laughs> they can raise quarterbacks out there. Well, uh, the reason why they're called Central Connecticut is because the quarterback <laughs> spends a lot of time under centre oh, in that pro-style uh, system. Okay. So, Awesome. Yeah, he's one of my favourites. Uh, another one, the re- running backs. Now, again, running backs, well, we had Saquon Barkley last year uh, taken second overall. So, so you starting... at Josh Jacobs? Uh, I, I like him, but I've actually gone north to the, uh, to the Bison. Oh, uh, oh yeah, okay. oh, yeah, North Dakota North, State. Uh, that's where I like to go. Carson Wentz's yeah, yeah, alma mater. I, actually, and uh, with their quarterback there, Easton uh, Stick, is uh he's a he's a big hero of mine, but um but what's one of their Eastern, 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 Eastern Stick, Stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah a, his last name's Stick, <laughs> yeah last name's Stick. Now he's his a first name's Easton, <laughs> exactly. Now if anyone's played Madden, there's a reason why they're called the Joy Stick. Now young Easton uh, is going to show us why, and uh, my final one is actually from Slippery Rock University. Which is uh, Ooh, that's that you? Yep. Yeah, 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 not yeah. quite. You'd think it maybe it'd be in Little Rock, Arkansas. No, no, this is actually in Pennsylvania. And uh, Wes Hillis, the running back there. Oh, he'd have good footwork coming from Slippery Rock. That's yeah, a, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, that's not Peyton's brother, is it? Oh, it could be a relation. <laughs> oh, Peyton Hillis. Oh, no. <laughs> it could be a relation. But yeah, if you can run on granite, you can run on a field. Fantastic. So. Oh, and your boy Easton good. Stick, if he doesn't make it, he's got a career in NASCAR, surely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Fantastic. Wow, some... Look, I've expected nothing else than some real underdogs from there. Mm. But I just hope that Carson Wentz hasn't put North Dakota State on the map too much. Yeah, that's a bit of a concern mm. of mine as well. I think there's a few too many prospects coming out of there now. When so. people think North Dakota, they instantly think day one pick, don't they? Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, starting true. to become a bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah. Not day seven where nah. it should be. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I think North Dakota State, I, I think quarterbacks. So yeah. we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Old mate Dazzle, who have you had your eyes on? Now, you're, you're less of a North Dakota State, more of a Bama football, Crimson Tide man, aren't you? I am, or even the Oklahoma Sooners. Oh, the Sooners. Yes, and my eye is on Mr. Kyler Murray. Oh, Heisman oh, Trophy winner. Heisman oh. Trophy winner. Now, just listen to this. Hey, we're doing the baseball segment later. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Ninth overall pick in the baseball draft. Yeah, went, went to the Oakland A's, I think. Oakland A's, that's right. Now, mine wasn't good enough for him. He's like, you know what? I can make more money. Oh, I can oh, make oh, more oh. money. And I'm all for this. Yeah. So he's gone the NFL. Big. Why, why sign a 13-year contract? Oh, I know. Like You're only going to get $4 million a year yeah. as a rookie. Yeah. You've got to yeah. r- ride the bus in the oh, minor yeah, leagues. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yuck. yuck. Why not make <laughs> money <laughs> right now? And I'm all for that. So Kyler Murray... I'm expecting first overall. It just depends on which team goes for him. Yeah. Ooh, there yeah, could be a few trades. Yeah, the cards are sitting in there in the hot seat at the moment. They but... are, and they they spent up big to get their quarterback last year. Will he stay or will he go? Yeah. We don't know. Will be will be very fascinating. Are you reckon he could really look and cash in and do a bit of a Bo Jackson? I'm hoping so. Yeah, yeah dual, absolutely. Dual sport player. I'm hoping so. We'd like to see him in right field, uh, and then and then at quarterback the same night, wouldn't we? Uh, and I think he, I think he can do it. Yeah, yeah, hitting well, homers and maybe and, LA. Yeah, throwing touchdowns. Is well, there any stadiums where they double up the field anymore? The old Raiders stadium. Yeah, they used the Coliseum, to do that. mate. Yeah. And look, the, the Oakland A's got him, and the Raiders. You know, you never know what John Gruden's oh. going to do. <laughs> if, <laughs> my, if my beloved Silver and Black pick him up, <laughs> he'll be at home A's no matter Raiders. what game. He'll, oh. run, he'll, he'll run out wearing stadium. a Raiders uniform one now. Oakland A's. Game. Yeah, you'll get oh, confused. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I reckon they might cancel the new stadium that's being built in Vegas and stay there if that happens. You just never know. <laughs> well, he'd bring a, a new definition to the term Moneyball. It, yes. Wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this he is really what I'm would. talking about. Yeah. Wow. And I've got a couple, two others. Um, I have got, obviously, Nick Bosa. Oh, oh yeah, Joey's younger brother. Joey's younger brother and Quentin Williams, who yeah, yeah. is Leonard's younger brother. So I'm all for these top prospects. And... Proven genetics. I, is that I, one, two, three? Is that where you're going? I'm there? going one, two, three. And I know why you are a big Joey Bosa fan. Uh, obviously, there was that controversy at the start of the season where he actually sat out absolutely his college football games to protect the body to make sure he gets that well, big well, draft pick. Exactly. Nick, Nick, 
the, the Joey Bosa, oh, he sat out the first few games of the season, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he actually held oh, out to get the money. The he older did. brother, of yeah. course. The Bosa's so, yeah. like a seat. Yeah. They like a good seat. <laughs> just <laughs> just smart footballers, really. Well, look, look. On and off the field. Yeah. He got paid, didn't he? So they don't make true. your money playing sport. You don't. You, you make don't. your money waiting to get paid. <laughs> that, is, that is exactly right. Like, ask Le'Veon. That's right. Now, over to my side of the table. And look, I don't look at your hand measurements or anything like that. It is data, and I respect data. But what I'm looking at is the Wonderlick test. That's oh. right. The, the group intelligence test of oh, yeah. uh, learning and problem solving that they all sit. 50 questions and... Oh, I'd love to sit down in exam conditions, but you know, your, <laughs> your, your average chemist has got a score of 31 out of 50. Ooh, very solid. Okay. Yeah, librarian 27, train conductor average score of 21. I so. thought that'd be higher. Yeah, yeah. I did too. <laughs> that surprises me. I, th- I think I'll get the bus home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, you just push a button. Anyway. Oh, that's yeah. true. But no, look, look, let's have a look. So I, I've done mine based on their Wonderlick scores. You know, it just makes sense. Yeah, yep. Look, we've got um, Ryan Finley, quarterback. Who Ooh. you say uh, at of NC State, undergrad in psychology, he's doing a masters in uh, masters. art, and liberal studies. Yeah, in art. So he's yeah. not backing himself to get picked. That, then. That's but it is psychology, one of the soft sciences. That's anyway, he, he's really? leading. He's leading with forty three. Forty three on the forty three. So 50. and he, wow. he's, he's done all this. So he he's got three degrees. Yep. While playing, yep. Uh, quarterback to uh, NC State. That's Wolfpack. right, the Wolfpack. And still found time uh, to get 43 on the Wonderlick and play football as well. Like, not ha- bad. Ha- not has he bad. done this? Yeah. Not bad. You know, not the strongest degrees, but you've got to give it to him. But yeah. Twice as fast, twice as smart as a train driver. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one way of looking wow. at it. Wow. He, right. he could drive a train in a bus at the same time. <laughs> we, we've got a couple there. Right, he's going to go okay. I reckon also he's going to be up there as an offensive linesman out of Illinois, scoring 42. Old uh, well. Nick Allegretti. Oh, oh now, the algorithm. Yeah, there he is. Forget about your All American. He was on the National Honor System. Oh, Honor wow. Roll students. Got his uh, did his degree in accountancy, a master's in uh, recreation, sport, and tourism. Not bad, but my pick for number one in the draft. You watch him go. We got Xander Newell, oh. thirty nine, so two below, but uh, Wisconsin Badger. Degree in biology. Oh, hey. my pet area. So hey, you yeah. watch, imagine the biologist in there. Oh, oh just, just makes sense, just, doesn't it? He's going to take whatever program he goes to. The sports science program, uh, uh, diseases, uh, staff infection. That'll all be gone. Exactly. With right. the biologist you, on board. You watch the soft soft tissue injuries just plummet. There won't be any ACLs or yeah. wherever he goes. Oh, it could be no more injuries. Years. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Injury free. So you watch out. There's a few others in there. Of course, Gardner Minshew from the Cougars. He the garbage man. He got 42, but uh, that was in, of course, communications. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. We'll scrap you'll, that one. You'll yeah. like this. Dazzle from Bama, the Crimson Tide. Jonah Williams, offensive linesman. Yes. He, he actually did extra course subjects to get credit so he could make sure he finished his finance major before the Finance. Draft. Oh, oh. Your own ass. So, so he's going to be it. the accountant oh. and the offensive that's lineman right. for the team. I knew Smart. you'd like oh, You'll be wearing a Jonah Williams jersey within a week, I reckon. I will. But yeah, there's the some ones to keep an eye on. Power cord, what about you, mate? Oh, look, I'm, I'm also much like Dazzle. I'm looking at the top of the draft and I'm looking at a bloke that I think is going to go, well, possibly first, if not first, second, third, maybe as low as five. But you, you will have all heard of him by now. He's from uh, Denmark. And I'm also, obviously, <laughs> obviously talking about Yelda Froholt. Oh! Yeah, Yelda. Yelda. Yelda, he's an offensive lineman who he moved from Denmark in the glorious town of Svendborg. Oh, yeah. Uh, God's country. God's country, indeed. They love their fly fishing in Svendborg. Um, he played for the Solarud Gold. The Gold Diggers, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but okay. then he moved to the US because, you know, fly fishing wasn't for him. And... <laughs> He, he started playing football in America just to make friends. Oh, hey. <laughs> what a guy. The, the poor oh. Danish bloke didn't know anyone. And sure enough, he made friends. So before every play, he'd shake hands with the bloke on the other side. He took and, to it like a oh. Dane to a bakery. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> just in his DNA. Oh. And mate, so he's, he's obviously short price favourite to go, if not first overall, second overall in my books. 
He's. Uh, I'd like to see the Raiders trade up to take him. Yeah. Ooh, okay, imagine yeah. that. And I'd like to see them sell the farm to get him as well. So <laughs> that way, I mean, you don't want to let that slip any way past level one. So. Well, how many? There haven't been too many uh, Danish prospects uh, come through. The great kicker, Morten Andersen. Oh, yeah. oh, oh famer, yeah. Yeah. I more stand famer. corrected. Yeah. Well, you yeah. were saying earlier that uh, when you think Denmark, you think NFL. That's right. When I think Copenhagen, I think left tackles. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Well, when so... you fly into Copenhagen, you actually fly through a big extra point post because that's <laughs> how much they love <laughs> <Morten>. Yeah, <laughs> Your plane will go through. Morten the magic man. Didn't he have a, have a leg on him? Was oh. our boy uh, Kickalicious? Was he? Did he hail from Denmark, or was that a different Scandinavian? Yeah, country? he was Might from somewhere been, else in the like, Lapland. Yeah, yeah, well, Polish or something. Lapland's like that. not a country. Just to clarify, just the area. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's right. I thought it was a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So look, some, some. I, I just hope these general managers are listening to this because you don't want any of these uh, these gems to go undiscovered. No, I hope they are listening. I want them going one. I want everyone <laughs> trading. 